Hi, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Stassi. Thank you so much for being here today. I am so excited <laughs> to have Sims Kingdom back today to do a Simmer Spotlight as this is our fifth podcast together. Thank you so much for returning. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. Every time is so much fun. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I if the last 30 minutes just indicated how much fun we're gonna have, <laughs> you guys, you're in for a treat. <laughs> yes, well, for anybody from this being my first podcast you're listening to, why don't you tell us a, um, a little bit about yourself and your Sims history? Yes, I am Theoni, aka Sims Kingdoms, and I started on Sims Instagram with my royal story that I've been playing for years like five six years by myself and I'm like let the world see it and I started with sims 2 mm -hmm. and I started my royal story in sims 3 that's why I bring back a lot of characters and you can find me on sims instagram as sims kingdoms on twitch and now on youtube too because expanding and tiktok but I don't really post there much <laughs> I love I love an expanding queen because I feel like that's yeah. what you have to do. You can't like as like you can't just be on one place. Mm. Like you have you have to be everywhere. Like somebody told me to, like th today they're like I didn't know you were on Spotify. I'm like then how were you listening? <laughs> what were you listening on? It's not hard to get on Spotify, kids. You literally just give them your RSS feed and you're on Spotify. There's no Ooh. like <laughs> there's no like pre check or anything like that i mean yeah. some you have to pre-check like audible i had to jump through hoops to get onto audible but now that mm. i'm on there it's totally fine i get like one person one person <laughs> listens to me on audible and if you are i know who i don't know who you are but thank you <laughs> I, I watch you on youtube because i like to see also the people i don't know i'm a visual person so I, but i I'm really enjoy it I like that. And thank you for saying that. I feel so bad because I just said in my last video, I'm like, no one ever watches my YouTube video. No, I watched it. And my mom. <laughs> I love it. But that, that's the whole point. It's like, I want you have to have the visual of us like seeing mm. each other, especially because I sometimes will show things. And I'll have yeah. to explain it to people. Like, so if anybody who's listening, this is what you're seeing. Uh, but like, yeah, <laughs> I hope to one day get onto the, like the YouTube podcast uh, area where the because that's what I they're really know. focusing on was video cast now. Mm, I have no idea. I the only reason why I ex expanded on YouTube is because my Twitch doesn't keep them forever. So yeah. I want to make playlists of my because we play my royal story, but we also play the Sims Ultimate Genesis Decades Challenge, which is me merging different challenges, kind of, and going through history from like old Stone Age, which we're stuck there, to today, hopefully. And the zombie apocalypse challenge that is scaring me every Friday night. You should see everyone that comes in, they're like, You're okay. And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Yeah. <laughs> so i want to make playlists of that so i can like i can watch it like she started like um in the right timeline <laughs> yeah i didn't know that till have the builder told me that like i because mm. i was like oh could i just release all these videos on to twitch and it just be there mm -hmm. forever and he's like no they last for 30 no. days and i'm like no yeah i just want my i want i just want to plug just saucy shit everywhere that's be like it's yeah. on this platform <laughs> but i find that so i guess because it's a it's a live streaming platform that like you like to go back to like if you missed a day or so like you could go back that's fascinating um how was your youtube experience so far well um i actually have been a youtuber before well with my husband we have a channel uh <laughs> so this is so much easier because it's actually just re-uploading um yeah. my, my sims content from twitch whereas with my husband's channel called blended uh plug it in there yeah uh, get that, it, get, it, you gotta get that plug in there is it vlogs? yeah is that what you guys are doing no we're because i'm greek and he's american from alaska and he's part korean we call it we're like one day we're like what if we like because he kept introducing me to things that i never tried that me him were like yeah. what if we like saw that and we have so many friends so it's called blended because we're blending cultures through food mainly oh, so we have our shit. chinese friend and she introduces to chinese things and now we have a new seasons coming out and we created actually a production company from it called blended productions llc and we've done three short films with it 
that are in competitions, but that's not sims related. Hopefully with that production company, we can produce something for sims too. Like that's a big goal for me. Sorry, that's, <laughs> we were going to talk about that in our real life actors acting. Yes. <laughs> Holy shit, that's fucking amazing. I love that. But, yeah. that, but that's how we call, how that, that's a lot of people's cultures is around a dinner table eating. And I think exactly. that's something that's missing in The Sims is like different ethnicity food. I know we just got Jewish food uh, with the last yeah. update, which is awesome. But I want to yeah. see, honestly, like my fiance is Macedonian Greek. He's oh. introduced me to fucking Greek food. I can never go back. Uh, I can't, yeah. I dream of pitas. Uh, I, like, we just had yesterday. Oh. <laughs> or just like, like, like fresh. It's It's so fresh food. Or like, mm. I feel like American food is like butter and fat. Yeah, <laughs> it has its appeal and it has its time too. But it was so funny. I got cherry tomatoes and I just finished them all at once because I, I live in the U.S. I'm Greek, but I live in the U.S. Yep. And I was craving tomatoes. I just ate the whole box. And my, my husband's like, are you okay? <laughs> I was like, ah. It's so fresh. It's, 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 it's fresh instead of it being yeah. like I'm gonna deep fry them and then I'm gonna put them in barbecue sauce and then I'm yeah. gonna fucking re deep fry them again because that's yeah. America culture. We deep fry shit twice. <laughs> like it's you know, deep crazy. fried deep fried cheesecake is good. I don't understand still deep fried uh, butter. I so I haven't so tried it to be fair. But I'm like, it's butter. Like the cheesecake, I get it. The Oreos, I understand, you know? Yeah. The deep fried Mars <laughs> bar, it's just cake. I it's, haven't tried it, that one, but. It's just basically because when you're deep frying desserts, you're not actually using traditional, um, how can I put this? When you're deep frying normal foods, it's you're usually actually using pancake batter because it's sweeter. Mm. So that's why that type of stuff tastes different versus like deep fried <laughs> chicken versus deep fried dessert because it's a pancake batter. I see. I have to tell my husband. Yes. <laughs> but like I've I've had like the deep fried Mars bar, the deep fried Oreo, because like mm. I like a good carnival food. But deep fried butter, I can't eat it because I like to live for another 50 to 60 years <laughs> with a working heart. And I just That'd can't justify <laughs> eating butter just because like e e you don't just take a spoonful of butter and go home. Oh, so <laughs> fucking good. You, can't, you don't do that. So you're just adding butter, oil, and pancake batter. It's just. Yeah, I don't know. Well, a nicer, no, you know, <laughs> and I'll go back to what I always say in all your podcasts, because you said for food inclusivity and everything. And I'm like, sissy and mods, because I always have, <laughs> I always have to remind myself, I'm like, oh, yeah, there's not bad food, but I have downloaded 10 gigabytes of it. That's why I have it. It doesn't come with the it doesn't come with the, with the base game or any game yeah, like that. I forget. I honest to God, I I forget half this shit too because I'm just so used to like CC for cast that I'm like, mm. oh shit, that's like the freckles are even CC at this point. Yeah. 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 The people that do it without CC, you're my heroes. You deserve yeah. an award. I don't know how you do it. Um, I could never, <laughs> couldn't be me. When I started my royal story before I posted it. Yeah. I... I saw Mira Ray's first video, right? Yep. Uh, I had already done it on Sims 3. But when I saw Mira Ray's, I'm like, oh, Sims 4 has the different worlds. So I can make different kingdoms. That's why I started playing Sims 4, actually. Because before I was like, eh, I don't need it. So many mods in CC in Sims 3. I don't want to wait for them in Sims 4. Yeah. But then I saw in her first video, she used base game. And, you know, they don't have the longest dresses ever because I like it to be a little more period it's not historically ac accurate or anything but i like long dresses princessy and she had you know the basic stuff and i was like i'm not ready to give up on my ball gowns so no. we'll have to wait a bit <laughs> i have to download a lot of things <laughs> that's exactly that's why like a project renee actually ends up being some survive i'm not gonna be like i'm gonna go oh. run and buy it i have like 30 yeah. games of cc yeah. I, I have you know how many poses I have? Yeah. A lot of poses that are not gonna be there. 
the fuck would I go spend a thousand, uh, another thousand dollars on a game that I already own? Because we know Sims 5 is going to be a carbon copy. Because, like, uh, here's a great example. Like, I didn't realize it until, like, until I started, like, I did, like, the Sims 2, everything you need to know. This is just fucking get to work. Sims uh, 2, yeah. open for business. It's the same fucking content. Just carbon copies. I want new shit. I also appreciate that this is $3.50. <laughs> I know my brother-in-law oh. didn't pay for that, but like, that's how much. Okay. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. But like, you know, yeah. Because like, we talked about uh, wanting a, uh, like a medieval royalty pack, and now we potentially might get that. With, Castles. With I kits. keep my hopes down. Yeah. I'm like, man, it's going to have two dresses. They're going to be ugly. Probably. No, I don't, I don't know. I don't think there's going to be anything. I think it's only going to be all build because how they set yeah. it up was gothic or pink shit or futuristic mm. in castles. I, I've been saying on these podcasts the last couple of weeks is let's have, I want two packs of both. I want mm-hmm. one that's just cast for castles and one mm-hmm. to build by. And then for gothic, I want a fucking gothic. I want to re be able to build Wednesday Adams house. I want, mm. I want that vibe let's get those dark, yeah. the darkness in there and then have the cast don't just tinkle one being like oh we gave you a medieval pack you can now make castles now fuck off leave us alone like <laughs> it's it just like i want disney princess cat i want i want ball yeah. gowns okay yeah like, um and um like for the machine awards i because i wasn't mm-hmm. gonna do cc because i didn't know how to fucking do it i guys uh. so you guys know i now know how to do a tray file yay <laughs> it only took three <laughs> yeah i know no it's not the file it's uh, tray file um, yeah <laughs> hey i had a, a, a poor millsy bmblb royals i'm sorry it's always i mess up the thing yeah um she had to send me pictures step by step instructions for my first royal um, I had to send her my sims for a royal collab. Yeah. And she sent me pictures step by step. You go there. Yeah. You press this. Yes. You exclude this. <laughs> literally, so. the uh yeah, she's a simmer. I had to do the exact same thing. She's like, this yeah. is how you do it. Because I originally yeah. I had made myself without CC. And it was and I was just like, I'm fine with this. And she's yeah. like, I'm not fine with this. I uh, oh. like we'll figure it out. And I'm like, because like, <laughs> I'm glad I did because it looks completely different because yeah. I was able to grab blonder hair that's a little bit more accurate to mm-hmm. my you. roots. <laughs> um, my, um, but it was, it was just nice to be like, oh, I guess that is me. Cool. Yeah. Instead of it being like, ah, oh, nah, it's fine. I'm just going to upload me to the gallery. Can't be bothered <laughs> to figure out what a tray file is. But okay. I got to speak about collabs. Because uh-huh. the royal community does collabs like no other community in the Sims oh, community does yeah. collabs. Hearing yeah. you guys talk about like having 90 fucking Sims in a room with like giant collabs. For everybody who listens to this podcast, I want you to explain to them how do you do that? Well, um, uh, you ask, I feel like the right person because I'm one of the people that like to torture themselves with 24 accounts, 100 sims. Like, literally, my last collab had 95 different sims that need to be posed in each uh, venue, you know? Oh, and, my God. And I also, like, I cannot leave anyone out. Everyone has to have their moment. So, first of all, <laughs> um, yeah, you can start with we have everyone that hears don't get scared you can start with like three accounts i think i started with six accounts that i invited just start with one maybe they come for a tea or whatever and see if it's for you but when it's bigger you create a document um a folder whatever where you put like each person you give them instructions on how to dress them some are stricter i like to be a bit more whatever your sim would wear but mm-hmm. it's warm and it's a tea party so whatever they would wear at the tea party or sometimes like, please don't wear green in this event because it's my royal color. So that's, but I like to leave it loose. Other people are way more uh, specific in what mm-hmm. they want. And then underneath that, you put its account's name and like the name of their sims, their titles from which kingdom they have, they come. So you can go back there and see if you got their sims, if you download them in the game, if they, if they work correctly, if they're CC missing, 
if you have to dress them because some people don't know how to use tray files and mm -hmm. it's up to the creator like i don't mind dressing sims for other people but yeah. I, I i want their approval of afterwards you know because it's like it's your sims and then i i like to i'm a paper and pen girl so I, I write it down all of these all the events and then i i create like little how it's gonna be and then i create the space and then i put all the teleporters and i pose all the people so when you have that many people, your game is going to crash, okay? You have to accept that. It's going to take you four days to do one event, 100%. And uh, you're going to have to to accept that your game is going to crash when everyone's there and dressed. There are some good tips and tricks. I give some of them on my on my stream uh, when we're actually making it because they see my game crashing and like, it happens. Uh, you might want to close it for two days and never come back, but you'll come back. And yeah, some tricks are you put like the teleporter and you put other teleporters around it so the sim cannot go anywhere else. So mm -hmm. it has to pose. <laughs> and then you have the tool mod to put them in place. It's fun. And then after you take the pictures, you edit them. And all that unpaid because you like to torture yourself. <laughs> okay. I love you. I love you so much. And I support the royal community. I just want to say, if this was Shark Tank, you didn't mm -hmm. sell it to me. But oh, yeah. I wasn't trying to. I was actually trying to deter you from doing oh, it. Well, then, because... then, you have, then you have a winning pitch, my friend. Yeah, because it's too late for me. <laughs> I already, because um, I cannot go back in my not my word exactly like that too but it's like if i say i'll do something mm -hmm. then it has to be done so now it's too late <laughs> but if you don't start it don't start it but you know i'm kidding you can start like just do whatever feels right that's what i love about the royal community i don't know much about the other communities but the everyone is like just do whatever feels right to you and if it doesn't go well, it's fine. Many collabs get canceled, you know, which mm -hmm. again, you have to be mindful on the people that would come to your collab on their time, that they created these sims, they put them in outfits. But usually most of them are like, I understand because life is life. And many of the people in the sims community, they it's an escape, you yeah. know, the sims community is an escape. So many people understand that many of the people here have anxiety or other things, right? Like, and this is their escape. So you won't cause them anxiety. Like, it's not a job. You don't get paid. It's, it's just seems at the end of the day, you know? Yeah. And if, you, if you're like, sorry, guys, like, I just can't do it. I really tried, but it's over what I thought it was going to be. Everyone is understanding. And if they're not, then they won't be part of the royal community for long. You know, it's like, you can fill it out. I yeah. I love that. Okay, so that makes me feel a little bit better. Just because... Like builder yeah. collabs are very different. Like builder mm -hmm. collabs, they set a theme and uh -huh. you pick the lot and go. There's mm -hmm. no, and like, obviously we have like, there's multi, like right now I'm in so many discords that like, I can't even like, <laughs> guys, if you're doing builder collabs, can we not have like a million discords? Or <laughs> if you're the same creator, could you just reopen the same discord and just like change the information? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy Vice. Uh, anyways, so but it's it's so cool to hear like the other aspect because you guys blew my mind the first time. Oh yeah, collabs because it was for Simstagram, if I remember correctly. Yes, yes, it's because Sims Royal Instagram, I believe. Yes, yeah, so we were. I was like, okay, holy shit, this is how you guys do things. It's unlike mm. any other community here because it's very. It's usually very like builders do builders. Cast is cast. Roy Towers do all of it, and mm. I I love that for like you guys and the, and how yeah. creative you guys are, and just educating everybody. Being like, like I don't even still like I don't have the mod to have more than eight Sims on one lot. So mm. the fact that you're able to get like ninety five Sims in one lot, they're like, not yeah, they're the not part of the me. same. They're not part of the same household, of course. You know, it's yeah. uh, it's just you can control them though. What I love about these collabs, if yeah. I'm to say the good things, is yeah, how the stories come together. Like my Sims from my story. I have 10 kingdoms now, right? Mm -hmm. Well, 11. 
Nine of them are in an alliance, two are like separate. And when other people send me their sims and they interact, like they, we always with respect to the creator and with their uh, having the okay from them, my sims create friendships with them. Yeah. So then my sims will go to like, and now with uh, Mother Royal Sims, her Sims are good friends with one of my queen, and they came and visited this other kingdom that the queen liked. But like, it's 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 really interesting to create this inter. Like it's like each account is a small reality, but then it, yeah. it feels like we're all in the same reality and we have different friendships. Um, I also love builder royal collabs i haven't seen many but now i had one with my it's not exactly a collab mother royal sims made a castle for my sims okay so I, now it's in my story and i saw it on twitch and i think we should do that more like if builders like to build things and we always need castles and things yeah. why not collaborate then your castle is going to be part of my story you know and it's going to be showcased forever kind of and then we have marriage collabs so one person from my story might go and marry someone in another story, and then they become part of that story. And they might visit, they might not, they might die, they might, anything might happen. And yeah, I have a marriage club now coming out where a sim from another account is going to come marry into my account. So it's really interesting, you know, and always respect to the creator. <laughs> oh, hundred percent. That, that's amazing. Okay. So a question I have, I think you've kind of answered. So what happens to the sims after the event is done the ones that you've put in do you keep them in your world do you put them to a lot where it's just like unused or do you get or you delete them well in the in the disney version they go back home in the realistic version they get deleted <laughs> okay <laughs> Okay, that's what uh, I thought. I'm like, how the fuck do you then have like a thousand Sims just like no. chilling out in the game? Like, I can't yeah. have more than eighty Sims, and my game is like, your game is broken. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can also. I I usually create a separate save file for the event. Like, I do save us and I write event, so then I just go back to the previous one and continue my story. You know. Okay. I, I like that. I got a couple of questions about uh, mm -hmm. marriage collabs. Do mm -hmm. you propose them to the other creator or do you, like do they propose them to you? Are they at Depends. an event and they fall in love? Talk, talk to me about like a, a, a couple of scenarios. Yes, there is a lot of scenarios. So for example, um, historical uh, Sims, they have uh, the emperor of zoo and they're like, he needs concubines. Is there anyone that wants to send concubines? And then they get like people of like, oh, I have this person could come to your story. And then they choose, I guess. I haven't seen the inside, but I've seen them be like, I need concubines. And then people enter their story. Mm -hmm. uh, other people are like, oh, marriage market. Like these seems they need to marry. Like, does anyone want them to marry with their account? That's how I found there's a character that I love and I've loved and they're, they're friends with my sims. And I saw that she... The, the creator wanted to marry her to someone. And I'm like, can I? Here, she'll be queen with this one. Can I have her? Please, she's so amazing. Anyway, so it worked out. They chose me. I'm like, yes, <laughs> my crown prince. Um, yeah, so it, it really depends. But that's how usually, that's what I've seen. Now, I don't know if other people are like, oh, I've also seen uh, there was an event and they met and they had the ooh, chemistry um pop up you know the little ooh, they love each other then they yeah. they message the creator and they were like my sim and your sim love each other would you and they're like oh yeah let's do it i had that happen it's a storyline that might be out by the time this goes up might not but one of my sims mm -hmm. she's married and she has a really good friend and then suddenly it popped up and said oh your sim she has a cross does that mean that her identity is different like she has a cross on her but it's her friend is it weird like it was a mod thing that popped, yeah. up, popped up that and i took a screenshot and i sent to the creator and i'm like ah, should we and we don't have to and they're like um yes so now we have a whole storyline for what's gonna happen there <laughs> oh i love that you guys are taking like the whims of the sims of being like hey okay so mm. question so mm -hmm. you, you've now married your 
a sim is now married into your family. Do you now then play with that sim? Do you have the rights to that sim? Are you able to continue telling his story or their story? Or do you have to yeah. get the original creator's approval for everything you do? Well, that's a up in the air topic, right? It depends on every person. And I can only talk about me. Yeah, of course. Yeah, because I don't know what people do. Because in, in the Empire of Zoo, that's yeah. another account, sims die all the time. It, it's a really nice story. So I I assume that when you send your sim, you know that they might die and yeah. horribly, you know, because there's intrigue and everything. So I don't know exactly how that works. For me, I like to try and really make sure that the creator is okay because it is their baby, their sim. Yeah. So I told the person, I told them the whole storyline yeah. that I have in mind of what's going to happen. Of course, some things are going to be different, mm -hmm. but I wanted to have like their general approval for that because now they are part of my story and I will be saying their story. Mm -hmm. uh, but also I said that they can visit wherever they want. So when they visit with their husband and family, things will happen. And nothing major, I hope, because we haven't agreed on that, you know, but, yeah, you know, hi, mom, here are your grandkids. Let's have fun, you know? Um <laughs> so in general in collabs if it's small talk it's usually fine you don't need to get like an approval or not if it's like the like life altering for the other person's story usually mm -hmm. it's nice to to say like okay. hey is that okay yeah. i was just i was just always super curious of that i'm just being yeah like, so what happened yeah after the sim has been sent like because if it was me i would say y'all go nuts you now have mm -hmm. the sim, you do what you want because yeah. I'm no longer the storyteller. I'm no longer the, the, the playing God of this character. It's yeah, yeah. to your hands. I just hope you wouldn't like question like their character unless it like, unless, it, unless something crazy came up, you're like, let's cause chaos, which I think is the Royal storyteller community yeah. in a nutshell. Is yeah. Like, let's cause it, chaos. Yeah. It, it's, it's, it, I play, it depends also how you play. Some people plan their stories and they write it down. So like they have the whole thing, right? Yeah. I mostly, sometimes I do create storylines, especially for Sims that are not my Sims. Yes. But I play my whole story, how it creates all these kingdoms. I play the game and then things happen and they mm -hmm. get wants and they get love interest and everything. So I, I play with what they do. Like they do something and then I create a story for it and why it would make sense. Uh, when one of the most famous one kind of, which shows, I feel like perfectly how I do it. Uh, King Zach, mm -hmm. Zax from Winderberg, he had court. So everyone, all the nobles came and he had an infatuation feeling with Marquez Clara. So I'm like, okay, he's gonna hit on her. She mm -hmm. clearly rejected him. And I'm like, okay, he's a king. He's evil and paranoid. What would he do to get her? And then yeah. he killed her husband and married her, you know? Yeah. So, because that's what he would do, you know? Yeah. So, so that's how, but but the, I didn't make the infatuation. So I didn't create the story like that happened. Also, I had other things happen in my game. I had a sim that's coming that just straight up went and killed another sim. And I was like, ah. Uh, Okay, okay. Let me make sense of that. <laughs> Why would they do it? <laughs> I, I have to assume it was so uh, left out of field then. Uh, it was what is left out of field, like unexpected. Yeah. It was. Oh well. It was like story wise. I'm like makes sense, but I don't like. I don't have them able to do that. Like they don't have autonomy killing other sims you know like i have mods yeah. that have these interactions but you can enable or disable the sims to do that and it's automatically disabled so i never mess with that so i'm like okay or then you know the craziness of sims i see them having like all these kids with random towns so i'm like okay he clearly had all these kids how does that make sense you know if it's not don lothario but you know <laughs> I appreciate that Don Lafari. I was just thrown in there. <laughs> He's part of my story as it. well. Fuck yeah. We'll see what happens with him. I, I love that. Well, thank you for sharing um yeah. a little bit more. Something 
I, I like about the row community. I'm assuming you guys like to have like a giant group chat. Am I right? No, <laughs> we have no? many group chats. No. Oh, okay. I could you imagine if there's just like one with like 40 people just being like, it, we wouldn't be 40 though. We'd be like 5 million. That's the issue. Well, there are a lot. Like I know 40 people that are my friends, you know, and then I have like 10 that are like my close friends. And then I have like, I have at this moment that we're filming, I have like 500 followers. Yeah. From them, at least 400 are royal sims, you know, accounts. So, yeah. There's that many. That's who follows me. There is a lot more. Okay, their account will have thousands of, of followers, and the majority is other accounts with royal stories. There's like a new one every other day. Which is amazing. I love it. But yeah. you know. Holy shit. I had no idea how big that store. I understood a little bit when I was trying to like reach out to people being like, come join the Royal Round Table. And I felt like it was like every third swipe down that I was finding. It's like, oh, it's another Royal Story. Oh, it's another yeah. Royal Story. Oh, it's another Royal Story. That's fascinating. It wasn't until the Disney Sims that really introduced me to the royal side of things because mm. I recognized it the most because Disney princesses, right? Yeah. And then she's like, no, it's like, stop. It's like, it's like a giant, like, <laughs> royal town community. And I was like, okay, like, I can't be, like, that big. Like, holy yeah. shit. That's insane. Yeah, I had the same thing with, when I found out about the builder community. Oh, yeah. The cast community, I didn't even know existed. Like, of course they exist, you know, but like I had no idea. So right. Like I feel like there's like there's like so many keys because it's like this like the machinima community community that I had no idea how many machinimas were out there until I sh- I machinima opened mm. up. And I was like, holy shit. Yeah. There's a lot. Yeah. I a, I, lot, I, a lot. Yeah. I did not bought them because when I was playing Sims 2. Mm-hmm. And I was on YouTube. I I kept watching like <laughs> the early Masinimas. Where it's like, uh, what's the the song? Um, oh, Britney uh, Spears. My 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 uh my immortal. Oh so fuck yeah! I had this moment where I was watching hundreds of videos with Sims. It was like this emo love story that like ends up with them dying, and it's all with the background song, my immortal. And I was like, ah. And I was crying like, oh, it's so real. Look at them. <laughs> so that's when I was first introduced to <laughs> to Masinimas, and I loved them. Like I loved them. Yeah, <laughs> I fucking love that. Um, it's crazy. I I think obviously the first Mashima would, would have been like the Reaper, but I, when Jason was watching the Mashima mm-hmm. Awards, they had the music, and I was like, yeah, like the whole like music video Mish- Mishimas is its own beast. And he's yeah. like, what? I was like, yeah. And they, 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 they made that song. They just chose it to for Sims for it to come out that way. He's like, he's like, I could have been a rapper the whole time. I was like, yes. You still can. You still can, baby. And if you're listening to this, you still can. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. so cute. Um, if you don't you want know, to know. No, go yeah, ahead. Yeah, but no, 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 ask me, ask me. No, no, your, your question is way more important than what I was going to say. Uh, no, uh, it's 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 kind of it's not silly, but it's being playing Sims. It's like an escape. It's an a creative outlet, but being part of the Sims community mm-hmm. is such a life changing experience. I don't yes. know if that's for all the people, but I've now been since from the time we're recording this. I've been in the community a little over a year yeah and and specifically like actually like consistently posting i've been like nine months Mm -hmm. uh, because i had a big break after i started and you don't understand how different my life is to the better Mm -hmm. from before i joined to after i joined like and i've met except that i made friends and i have real life friends and i have all these things in quote-unquote real life that are happening you know yeah but but mentally like I was in a 
really bad place when I started posting, mm -hmm. like bad. And I think you'd also did, uh, yeah, you did uh, a podcast for mental health, which is really, really interesting. So it's it's crazy how much it gives to you. And it saddens me when I see other people that don't have that experience because there are people that like say bad things in the community and drama. I've never seen that. Like I see people experience it, but it hasn't happened to me. Hopefully it won't. Uh, but, you know, it's it's just so interesting because it's such a positive and life altering thing. So I'm like, damn it, don't bring negativity here because it, it has made my life so much better. So I want other people to have that. I could not agree more. I'm convinced that Simstagram is like cult level. And at this point, I'm a cult leader telling mm, people to like come nice. join Simstagram <laughs> because it's like the most warm, loving community ever out there. Yeah. And they're like, no, it's not. And I'm like, no, no, you're not in it. Posting yeah. something and then running away is not in it. In it yeah. is sharing other people's work, getting to know the creator behind the, the account. Holy shit, I've made lifelong friends. Mm. You included, uh, yes. since starting this <laughs> podcast, and yeah. um, like holy shit, that like, yeah, I have real life friends. I talk to my real <laughs> like, and when I say real life, because Gabby always comes to me. People that call me Jenny, people who associate uh. me as Jenny, not Stassi, but as Jenny, I love them. They're they're a different part of me, but I very much enjoy chatting with everybody every day. I talk yeah. to my like Sims, like my friends, my my online community, amazing friends, every day. Yeah, just as much as I talk to my parents. Yeah, right? so like it it just becomes a part of you, and I think the Sims has always been a huge part of like our lives, and it's finally nice mm -hmm. now that we can actually talk to somebody about our interests instead of it being like the classic. Yeah. Like, oh, like I like my fiance is really into soccer, and I uh, he'll be like, oh, like this happened. I'll be like, hmm. Nice. So, so dinner, like, are we thinking yeah. like be because I don't really have anything to add, but he, like him and his mates will go, like, oh my god, like this and then this, and yeah, this and this, and then he's like, that's community found where like, you can talk about common interests instead of it just being, yeah, like, yeah, you know what sucks, The Sims. You know what I wish? I wish I had better <laughs> packs. Oh fuck. Yeah. Okay. Well, fuck me then. Mm, okay. Yeah. That's and they're like, but here they're like, yeah, I want better packs. I want representation. Jeez. I want all these things. But if you ask an onsen player, they're like, isn't that already in the game? Aren't you an adult yeah. playing a, a child's game? What I don't yeah. understand, right? So like, well, yeah, I also think that these things are in the game, but just because I'm privileged with sissy and mods, you know. <laughs> so that part, <laughs> yeah, but I totally get what you're saying because. Um, my husband, I saw him like my post with 95 Sims posed and all the little, because I put all the plates and all the food and everyone has a spoon and everyone has a stupid like cup. And I'm so happy about it. And I saw him like, look what they did. And he's like, wow, like this is so good, my love. But I'm like, you don't understand the four days that went into this picture. And then I tell you and you're like, oh my God, 95. I'm like, yes, thank you. Yes. <laughs> like fucking 90. I don't, I can't really post three Sims. <laughs> fucking 95 sims because we get it and then back to our real lives and we're like, yes. we're like again because like, oh like that's so pretty yeah you don't know that took me like 20 hours to do that exactly i got you i know someone takes i know when something takes four days in a storyteller community versus something that takes five minutes oh yeah, yeah. which you is also valid okay. you know yeah <laughs> absolutely no i i love that um, no, what I was actually going to say, I wanted to switch gears and talk to you about what it was like to present at the Machinima Awards. Oh, my God. First of all, uh, it was a dream come true. I didn't know I had a dream until they told me, like, you know, we have Machinima Awards. And then said, you want to be a presenter? And then I just, like, died and came back. Because <laughs> it was amazing. As we said before, yes, is a simmer. Oh, my God. It was so good. The production. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The whole thing, well, you can tell it took a long time. Like, I don't even want to say days because it, it was like a long time mm -hmm. to create all this and the quality of the, of the sound that knew everything. And I love that there are awards for for people in the community by the people in the community. Yes. And I do want to see that more and I want to see it bigger and I want to see it being like a real 
even if I, I've told you right before, I wanted to, to see it be like a real life big event. Yes. As well as how amazing it is online. Because, yeah. uh, you know, having your Sims there, it's amazing. But I want people to have that recognition of, of themselves and the, 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 the time to party. Being a presenter, I literally only recorded my lines. But I've done other small presentations here and there. I've been to some events because I'm an actress. And it was amazing. It felt so good. And I was so proud of just like saying five lines yeah. on that event. You know, it was it was amazing. And she made it so easy for me, by the way. But, you know, because uh, I was like, is that good? I, I, I sat down and like I, I did my whole background thing for like... Uh, when you're in acting school, they teach you how to like break down sentences and stress and everything. And I'm like, ah, it's like, oh yeah, that's so good. Like, it's literally so good. And I was like, okay, I can refilm it. It's like, no, it's really good. I'm like, okay. <laughs> I, so, yeah. I love that because she went for authentic. So when mm. me and Cimarella and her did like all the rest, we filmed it as a Zoom call together. Mm. And it was cool to actually like read off each other because yeah. I'm, the, I'm the queen of improv okay so mm. like everything is unscripted that's how i like, like to live podcast. like this podcast <laughs> right i'm thinking see i want to change the name from unplugged to uncut at this point mm. because it's more uncut than unplugged but yeah anyways, there look. is a service called uncut though i know i know yeah. i don't not... remember what it is but yeah anyways, well <laughs> long long story short <laughs> It was so cool to like, that was the first time I ever like, because I wouldn't say I was acting. I was reading a script. Yeah, because you were being you, but I you was have being an me. acting. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because when I'm Amy, <laughs> I, I, I act by yeah, being you act. me. <laughs> you act. <laughs> I act. I know, I'm so self disparaging. I act by, by just reading how I would read lines and how crazy mm. I am. But it was, it was so cool to like have that experience of like actually doing something. Cause what you experienced doing a voice acting for Machinima's, you just like, it's all alone. It's literally, you sit with a script. Like, I, hold on, mm -hmm. like, I think I got a, I got a script right here. There we go. An mm -hmm. old script. And you're just yeah. sitting and you're like, thank you all. Like, this, this is how awful I am. Can't read. Thank you all for the warm welcome back. Take yeah. two. Thank you for the all the warm welcome back. And then take three, I would say it again. And then take four, I'd be like, yeah, I would actually never say that like this. I'd be like, hey guys, thank you so much for welcoming me back. And mm -hmm. normally nine times out of 10, they they take the improv. Like I would pretty sure Amy, everything in the Reaper is like 98% just <laughs> me being like, yo, OMG, love you. So this is how Amy, <laughs> this I love it though. And oh, you yeah. know, you know, it says like, oh yeah, you could. First of all, I filmed the short film, and I was playing this YouTuber that was doing an apology. Tylene, the funniest role of well, one of the funniest roles I've played. Yeah. And I, I had to film it by myself at the house because it was supposed to be like a YouTube video that they're watching because I'm doing an apology. Yeah. And, and I filmed it at home by myself. And also, as an actress, all the self tapes I do by myself, and they're my auditions, and yeah. I'm just there by myself. My husband is reading for my reader, or I don't have a reader, so I'm talking to nothing, and I'm like, oh yeah. Oh, one of the funniest, funniest, uh, like I had fun doing it, auditions I did. Yeah. That's a small smidge of like, quote, unquote, real life. Um, I was playing this character that had a conversation with two people and one of them knew sign language and the other uh, was speaking with sign language and the other didn't. Yeah. So I was, I was telling one person what the other person said and then I was translating into American Sign Language to the other person. So, and I didn't have any for the reader. So it was just me being like, Oh yeah, um, she's from Hawaii. Surf, you know, <laughs> and it was just me going back and forth, and no one was answering me. <laughs> but it was a lot of fun. It was a really nice script, and it was fun to film it. Uh, yeah. Oh my god, that just sounds like yeah. So like Hawaii and surfing and like yeah, and then like sharks and then like biting, huh? <laughs> yeah, but you you do. I did find I did find, like you have to do the actual. American Sign Language, and that's surf apparently in American Sign Language. I know Greek really? Sign Language. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> so I had to do that, you know. <laughs> it was fun. It was fun. But yeah, yeah, so it was way better to do the presenter. <laughs> <laughs> 
I I love that. Also, thank you for teaching me because uh, for ASL, because we don't use ASL here. We use something else here in Canada. Yeah, I'm not sure what. In Greece, we have Greek sign language, which I, I know I took years of classes, but American, I have just double. Like okay. I had to find videos where people were doing the lines I had to perform. And I was like, Sarah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Can I, can I please see some Greek sign language? Are you okay to show me that? I'm just curious. Well, yeah, let me remember. Oh, well, the, um, what, what, what? It could just name? be one word. Sassy. Yeah. I'm like, oh, um, like my name. Okay. Name. You can tell us you're here. Yeah. Uh, and then you do your name. And like, for example, my name is Theoni. Okay. Theoni is written with an E. Your name would be S. Okay. Uh, um, S T A S S E. That's shit. your name. There are, I just <laughs> sign languaged in Greek, guys. Yeah. Holy shit. <laughs> you can do three. You know, I performed. Hurt by Christina Aguilera in Greek Sign Language <laughs> when I was a kid. Yeah, it was so fun. Uh, it, it, the song was playing and they could feel the vibrations and I was like performing it like, look, and then it's like, it was, it was amazing. <laughs> oh my God. Like, what, I, what I love seeing now is now we're starting to see a lot more interpreters for a lot more events and you'll see, like, you'll mm -hmm. see them doing, but some of the interpreters is amazing if they don't like it, they're like, you're being saucy or something like uh -huh. that. And they're like, <laughs> yeah. 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 I mean, yes, that's how yeah. it, it, it should be. I think, um, but it's also to every person's preference, but yeah. you know what I love about the Sims that we start seeing more inclusivity of people with the, yeah. like the, when they put the, how is it called? The ear thing. Uh, hearing or when, aid. Yeah. Hearing aid. Because I also like, I don't know. I want my Sims to be able like, Especially, I started seeing it in the Ultimate Genesis Decade songs that I play on the stream. I'm like, not all my sims can be like able, able you know, like yeah. I want someone. Yeah, so I, I started putting roles for them to like, oh, okay, if they roll this, then they get some, they are born or they get some sort of something. And now we have mods and CC to actually like kind of do it. You know, it's difficult. Like you can't really play with a, with a sim that is on a wheelchair if you don't have cc which you'd have to have them posed all the time yeah so it's it's that's missing but there are other things that are there which makes me happier and it's easier for me to include things so i agree it was so weird i because i wanted to i was doing a character in rose chronicles um and he was an old man and i was like he has to be in a wheelchair he's an old ass man old uh -huh. men are in wheelchairs unless they're like mm -hmm super fit and then they're not in a wheelchair but like and i was like wait there's no wheelchairs like i thought there was like i'm like holy shit i had to get i had to get cc for the wheelchair and then the wheelchair poses because they were just he would just sit there yeah i, I had to physically get him grabbing the holes and i had people call me out that they weren't he wasn't wearing gloves on his fingers because you would never just go full hands you would have some mm -hmm. form of a gripping glove and i was like guys yeah let's have this conversation with um EA, but I would love to see, um, let's say, a sign language. I'd like to see Simlish as a sign there, there is, uh, There is a creator that has created some poses for, I believe it's American Sign Language. Okay. Where you can pose them to do, pose, you know, uh, which is, a, it's a step. It's a it's step. difficult to make a mod that completely over, like we just got the different languages mod. Which is, it's really fun. I like it. I want more languages, Loki, because like, I'm like, my Sims from OS Springs and Willow Creek, they don't speak the same language. Come on. No. But I mean, the creator has put like so much of their time to create even four or five different languages, you know? So, yeah. yeah which I think is crazy because like a lot of stories are like English based, but they would never speak fucking English. Yeah. I, I, say, yeah. Yeah. It's, 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 so I've seen different approaches, right? Yeah. I've seen I've seen people who they put words from the people's language that like they say, oh, this kingdom speaks this language, like Spanish, okay? Let's say for easy for me. Mm -hmm. And then um, the character will be like, oh, like Hijo, why would you do that? Which I love because it does have inclusivity. But personally to me, 
Teoni, it does take me out a bit because I'm like, if they're speaking to each other and their language is Spanish, mm -hmm. then they would speak completely Spanish. But the creator cannot know 10 languages, you know, like they're doing the best they can. Yes. For for me, I, I actually started thinking about it this last part. The ideal would be if all Sims spoke their own languages, but if there is a simmer out there that speaks 10 languages and can do that, perfect. But for me, it's it, it makes me more immersed if they all speak English and then in my head it's kingdom speaking the wrong thing, but we're just mm -hmm. seeing the translation in English. Yep. I don't know how that's going to work, but for now, no one knows it's in my head as of now, you know, but that's that's what works for me. But there are, there are different approaches, so... See, it's really interesting. Well, yeah, it, it's it's very interesting, and I like. What if like every world had its own language? Yeah, that I would love that. Exactly, and then like, what like, what if we added depth? So like, the townies in that language only spoke this language, and like, they split, mm -hmm. had another townie that maybe had a different problem, or you could like go and take like, oh, in Willow Creek they speak Willow Creekian. Yeah, and yeah. um, if you wanted to go there and communicate with anybody, you had to like read a book or something, and that like increased yeah. the logic of like, okay, now they, I now have a base understanding of the language, or just like it kind of being funny, or let's take it out to like, oh, like I'm using my Sims Translate to be like, what are you saying? Yeah, and kind of the going mod like that. that mod does that. It has, I believe, four or five languages, and it does that. You have to study the other language to understand; otherwise, your Sims will not um talk but then you need this other mod that they also have that keeps npcs in their neighborhood and people because what also breaks my immersion is when like someone from willow creek mm -hmm. is just strolling in like i don't know shulani or oh, san yeah. machine or something because i'm like you don't live here we don't go to school together go back home and there's a mod that keeps them to their place vlad is in every world i'm in at all times at least he's a vampire you know like I'm like, okay, you travel. But Bob Pancakes, what are you doing in Strangeville? I don't know, you know? Yeah. You're just on vacation. You just follow me. Oh, fuck yeah. I'll All sit. the time. The best is when filming Rose Chronicles. I'll be filming a scene oh. and I'll have to get it out and I'll see a younger version because, like, there's multiple versions of the same character, right? I'll just see a younger version. And I'm like, fuck off. You're like six worlds away. You're not here right now. And I'm just like, <laughs> yeah yeah delete exact destroy destroy yeah, yeah be like yes i'm not getting that angle or just waiting for yeah. them to move yeah yep. oh yeah all um, all these all these issues <laughs> yeah for me i have okay an instagram issue that has to do with sims instagram okay like why why only 10 pictures i understand I it's because they don't want people to spam with like 100 pictures of nothing but like, I always have 12 or 13 pictures for a post. So I'm like, I don't want to make it two posts because then it will never end. I will just post, you know, like a yeah. hundred posts. Part one, part two, and, part three. I, yeah. I agree. Also, I would like if we actually did, like if you post 12, 10 posts, I would also like it not to be deemed as a heavy post. And then like mm. people actually saw it instead of yeah. it, like the algorithm just being like, no, nah, we're good. We're not going to show it. Yeah. Yeah, and I you would... can only put sorry, sorry. No, you can only put music. You can only put music in a post that's only one picture, not even two pictures. Yes, which is like, what if yeah. I wanted one page to have music and one page I didn't want to have music? Why? Yeah. Why? Or like, why does it need to be the same song? And like, no, yeah. no, no. Yeah, well, it's uh, yeah, but it, it's it's really keeping you back because I have. I forgot, 11 Kingdoms now, because I just introduced a new one mm -hmm. as of filming this. And I'm like, I I play, I, every sim in my kingdoms is a main sim. So I play, I saw all the monarchs, all the nobles, they all have storylines, okay? And I'm like, this noble that they just gave birth, and I just want to show that they gave birth and saw their baby, it can be three posts, you know, because I, because <laughs> then like it, I, yeah, that's why how I end up having six part posts. So, well, but that's fine. I think that's how like story. But the thing is, is like Instagram punishes you for doing shit like that, and like they're like that's it's hard to get new readers out yeah. that way because 
the uh, if it's not a real or like a five second engagement mm-hmm. video or like just anything it's like questioning like algorithm's like no yeah no we don't do that goodbye the end That's yeah and i hate and i hate that reels can only be uh what's this uh, this um Rectangle. this version Re- yeah like i want them to be the 16 by 9 you know so it's like yes. what will be like but they're like um no so then you have to trick them I, like how because you can't post that as a video like a reel but then they make it small and it has black around so yes. i post a picture that says the farewell ball and then the next the next thing is the actual video is like a minute because then they let you post it as a as a post instead of being a real that's it's so, horrible that's so pointless i hate like, it I, I hate that too again like because not true. everyone's gonna scroll you know to no. see the video no and, uh, and sometimes i find i i will see let's just say because i follow you Mm-hmm. I would see maybe a post that you made five days ago before I saw mm-hmm. your most recent. I never see anybody's yeah. most recent shit and it irritates the shit out of me. I don't want to see something five days ago. I want to see yeah. the most recent shit. And if I'm scrolling to try to find the bottom of my feed, which will never happen, <laughs> then show me something from five days ago I missed. Don't yeah. show me. Or like I understand if someone's like a chronic poster. But mm-hmm. like, I'll be like, oh shit, the today they posted, I'll go check that out. Oh shit, I missed yeah. a couple days. I'll go back and read it out instead of being like, oh, well, I guess it's uh, five days ago. I guess that's all I'm going to see until I yeah. go onto a different account. Like, oh, she posted today. Yeah. Yeah. That That's what I do. I, when I see, because of Instagram, when I see like your post from Chronicles or for whoever, I press on you and yeah. then I go and see if I've missed it. And I read it like that. Instead of just like trusting Instagram. <laughs> yeah, guys, don't trust Instagram. She'll let you yeah. down. She's a cruel, yeah. cruel, cruel mistress. Yeah. Now, speaking of not cruel mistresses, I want to talk <laughs> about the Royals Roundtable. That was so much mm. fun. Thank you so much for co-hosting that. But yeah, also, oh, it was so fun. <laughs> I was so I could I couldn't ask royal questions because I have like no no I know I have knowledge now, but I would have asked you guys like so like ball gowns <laughs> where are y'all finding your ball gowns okay um but i appreciate you came in you really led you led it you and gabby i love you both for yeah doing that. what was it like to host a round table like that was that like a first time a lot of you guys had seen each other like that way of being yeah. able to communicate like that way instead of like via text yeah yeah it was the first time we saw a lot of the people like their face mm. um and it's because it, it's so funny because we talk with those people every day, right? And we had um, we created another group chat and we had to like do a DD campaign and we all pop up and people start talking. I'm like, wait, guys, one second. Who who is who? <laughs> you talk with them every day, but they're like, I don't know how you look, you know. Yeah. Not that it matters, but I'm like, who am I talking to now? You know? Are you Cappy? Uh, but I, I had seen Gabby in your, your previous uh, podcast. But yeah, you brought us together and we were able to like actually see each other. That's the first time I saw Mother Royal Sims, you know, mm-hmm. who is the sweetest person ever. Oh, she's and amazing. And Michaela. And Michaela, the sweetest person ever. Yeah. Yep. West Royals had never seen. They were in my collab. Their Sims were like dancing with my Sims. I'm like, I don't know who you are. But, you know, it was it was it was amazing. And it was amazing to talk about the royal. I had questions for days, by the way, <laughs> you know. <laughs> so are you saying for season three, doing a part two royal yes. round table? Yeah, I, I like how- For sure. I, I haven't even finished the time. Yeah, you're like, yes. I'm just going to stop yes. you. Yes. Well, I, I, Stassi, it was, yes. <laughs> well, it was just fun to be a guest. Because honest to God, I was a guest at that one. I was just sitting there like- <laughs> No, you're I, the one that brought us together. <laughs> yeah, I'm the one that brought you guys together, but I was the guest. I was just, I, I enjoyed watching you guys. I was literally yeah. about halfway through, I watched you guys bond and watch you yeah. guys being like, oh my God, like you were in this club and I was on this club. And like, and it, it was just so cool to see that. And I can't yeah. wait for everyone to see that because as this podcast is being filmed, that podcast is not currently out, but it's yeah. out now. So go listen yeah. to the Royal Roundtable <laughs> podcast if you've not listened to it. It was phenomenal yeah. to hear. And um, you know, after after your podcast and after I started streaming, you know, yeah. you always get you always get comments on Instagram where someone's like, "Oh my god, I can't believe he did this," which is story based. 
Yeah. And you also get the person who's like, congratulations. And I'm like, they died. You clearly didn't read it, but okay, thank you. And then, <laughs> and then after your podcast and I started streaming, I got the comment which made me cry that said, I now, because we talked about the collabs in your podcast and I got, um, I got a comment from one of the people that were in the podcast and saw my stream and they said, I now, uh, I now see more of your work in the posts and I cried because yeah. I'm like, you real, yeah, because after we talked and they, they realized, I'm like, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like someone says it, it, like it takes me four days. Anyway, uh, continue. <laughs> I love that. I love that yeah. so much. That's oh, so cute. Again, I'm so happy I was able to bring the community together. My like my goal was to be yeah. like, I didn't know like if anybody was gonna show up for the royal. I was like, let's let's do it. And then oh you guys did. And I was like, holy shit. Yeah. I'm so happy that like I was able to bring you guys closer together and let's like round table part two because like as i've said you guys that fulfilled my dream for round tables was that round table to have 10 people there literally talking about the sims and, and you guys were just like having fun and sharing stuff and i didn't even have to say i think i said five things in that entire podcast i went an oh. hour without talking my fiance thought it ended because i wasn't <laughs> talking and, but i didn't I, but i didn't need to talk because i yeah. had two amazing co-hosts and i so I just, I watched you guys have fun. And that was the moment that I was like, this is fun. I was having more fun watching you guys. So this guy was like, Stas, you got any questions? I was like, poses? <laughs> but that was so good because we, as as Gabby said, we do want the, the, the question from someone that's not part of the Royal Sims community. Yeah. Because that's what brings other people to it too, you know, because yeah. what questions do you have? And you haven't only brought the Royal Sims community together. You brought also different, like the building and Royal Sims community. Like that's how I thought maybe I should ask a builder to build one yeah. of my castles. And that's how it, that that's a collab. You did that because I met Kev the builder and them. And I'm like, wait a second. I can be like, does anyone want to build a pirate castle for me? Yeah. And Mother Royal Sims was like, yes. <laughs> and then she created something. I'm like, I would pay. I swear that I would pay thirty dollars yeah. for her castle. Oh, Kid yeah. you not, because it's like I'm like the detail is like I cannot believe it. And she gave it to me for free. I'm like, thank you, uh, thank you. <laughs> right? It's, like it's just that cool shit of being like, yeah. I um, I striked up a, a conversation with Joanna. She does a lot of poses this mm. week, but Ooh. I didn't know it was her. When I was talking to her, mm. he was posting distress poses. And I literally met, I DM'd her. I was like, these are amazing. I We need more distress poses. I'm tired of fucking cheerleading poses. I want dying <laughs> sims. Thank you. Yeah. I can't let me know when this pack comes out. I will 100% get it. And yeah. she's like, oh, okay, cool. And we were sitting and talking. I was like, oh, like, do you have, because I wasn't like, I didn't recognize the name because I'm like, as there's a lot of people in the do poses, yeah. I recognize the thumbnails. Yes. And I was like, okay, holy shit. So I was like, okay. I was like, hey, like, do you have any other posts? She's like, yeah, yeah, for sure. Like, check out my Tumblr. I was like, hold on. You're Joanne. You've done, like, you do, like, she does the distress poses. Distress one, distress two, distress three, distress four. I think four, I have some. <laughs> yeah. So I struck up a conversation with her and I was like, hey, like, I love your poses. Like, I've been trying to find drowning poses. And she's like, mm. oh, you're looking for drowning poses? She made me a custom <laughs> drowning in a day, in one fucking day. She did. And I was and I'm at work and she's like, can you send me like reference photos? I was like, yeah, for sure. Here you go. Like, take your time. Like, it could be like a month. A day. Yeah. Full on swimming animations as well. And she's like, so like play tested in the ocean or pool. And I'm like, ocean, I guess. <laughs> and she's like, and she's like sending it to me. We've been talking, never stopped since. And I'm like, thank you so much for doing this. How much do I, can I pay you? Like, can I, can I buy you coffee? Like, do you have Patreon? She's like, no, just read my story. That's fine. <laughs> so then I and then I shared uh like because she just came out with a new distressed pack this week and I was like mm. go fucking get this because this is an amazing distress. Um, yeah. And she's like you didn't have to do that. I'm like no no I did though. No no <laughs> I, did. I did. Thank you so much yeah. for sending that to me or uh Breeze Motor. Uh you know all the cars. Um, uh, like, oh I don't. Like, I'm like more more 
That's like, fair. Period time. So that's fair. So like, if you need a car, it's it's Breeze Motor. Like that's every mm. type. Of, I striked up a conversation uh, one day. He's like, I like your podcast. I do. You, I can send you some stuff. And I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, sure. Sends me his entire back catalog. Sends me everything for December because this happened in January. December and January. Just sent me everything. Which would have been yeah. like ninety dollars on Patreon. And he's just like, oh, I like what you do. Here you go. And I was like. Good sir, I was looking for a CC vehicle. Anyone listening to this, <laughs> go go support Bruce Vitter and Joanna. Like these are amazing pose, amazing pose creator, and amazing CC for vehicles because we don't have vehicles in the Sims. And it, it, yeah, it, like his vehicles yeah. are phenomenal. You can get ranges from like 1968 versus to like 2024. Shit, that's not even mm. out yet. But they're like yeah. it's like the project. It's like it's amazing. And I now have like I believe it. I have like ten gigs worth of cars <laughs> in my Google Drive that anytime I can just pull up and be like, okay, I just want this car now. <laughs> yeah, it's just it's it's yeah, it's so cool. Um, yeah, yeah. No, but I it's, think it's it's the community. If you ask, you shall receive. Yeah, it's the only community people have I've made flags. Like yeah, people yeah. make flags for my kingdoms. You know, like for free because I don't. I am so bad at creating CC, literally get meals. She sent me a video of yeah. how she does that, how she puts the, the picture that they sent me, uh, that Bailey Royal sent me, how they put that in the CC thing, and then you export it and it's ready. Yeah. And I was like, I am so sorry. I tried for hours. Yeah. I can't do it. And it's like, okay, here it is. Blah, blah, blah. Did it send it to me five minutes? I'm like, thank you. I could, I, I just, cannot okay we have to accept it i can't do that uh thank you <laughs> that's so. awesome though holy shit yeah Again, it, it's so cool to just see the community come together and like support one another speaking of the community supporting one another mm -hmm. i want to switch years because I, I i've already interviewed yes. you for a story spotlight which has already come mm -hmm. out which was which was exciting and i know yeah it was fun it was so fun yeah well, it was fun. To, I love those coming out on Saturdays. There's, there's like literally like two years worth of Saturdays at this point of people being like here because there's only one Saturday a week, guys. And I don't want to <laughs> I, I want to make sure that the podcast people get their special time every week for their week for their podcast. And I don't want to take that away from yeah. anybody else. And especially your interview on Saturday morning. People, I have people waiting at like 8 a.m. Or 9 a.m. when it comes out and mm -hmm. being like, when is it coming out? Is it coming out soon? Is it coming out later? I also read them. And sometimes I agree. Sometimes I'm like, no. <laughs> it's so funny. Yeah, everything is welcome. But sometimes I'm like, I disagree, but you do you. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, I was going to say, like, can we talk a little bit more about your kingdoms to a storyteller, to a storyteller? Yes. Um, <laughs> <laughs> there's so the ghost chronicles is three books i'm really having so much fun rating book three because i'm creating a kingdom from mm -hmm. scratch in a magical mm -hmm. realm of basically being like how do you how does a society work is it run by money is it run by food is it run by promises what's their well, yeah right yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's do, crazy <laughs> do, okay so they have magic but do they have disease Mm -hmm. do they have famine do they rely like what did they rely on yeah what it's a whole thing it's a whole thing so since you have 11 kingdoms which is fucking insane i, <laughs> I love you for that there are more so, coming i have one for every world that has been released oh my god they're coming it's just the story is not there yet you're like you're literally one day gonna have 20 kingdoms of like six yeah. spreadsheets of being like okay I so mean, this is everyone in this kingdom I have I have a, a document that I have like year one everything that happened year one year two and I have with their ages and stuff because and it's called <laughs> timeline help Sims Kingdom it's like <laughs> I I have seventeen years pre pre played mm -hmm. I'm in year two right now I thought it's so funny because it's so silly when you start. I started it, then Sylvie is like, oh, you want to be part of this collab? It's going to come out in September. It was like July. I'm like, oh, yeah, but like by then I will have this event that will have happened. Uh, I guess I'll send you like the future versions. And then September comes and I've played half a year. And I thought I'd be year 17. I'm like, yeah, I think I'll, I'll send you the, the now versions because 
I'm not getting there anytime soon. <laughs> That's crazy. You thought you could cram yeah. in 17 years and like because 20... I'm like I'm like you know like how much is it gonna take? But then like it's a lot. So yeah. Anyway, <laughs> in my story, one usually it's like sometimes like now some months are passing kind of quickly. Yeah, but things are happening. It's like, oh, this person was born. This person started wearing the hijab or whatever, and like life updates. But then, like one day took half a month because it was the wedding day, so <laughs> it took half a month to post. <laughs> I'm like, ha, ah, you're not. But anyway, its kingdom is uh, different. <laughs> so my, uh, <laughs> my question is, is how yes. do you build kingdoms? Yeah, so every person is different, blah, blah, blah. Um, I am from the, I, I like to make it as believable to myself mm-hmm. as possible. So that's why I cannot name my kingdoms anything different. I don't mind if there are 10 Willow Creeks. Uh, like, you know, I have Willow Creek, you have Willow Creek. I don't care. Because when I play my game mm-hmm. and I see Willow Creek and I've named it whatever, it, it will take me out, you know? So I'm doing it for myself. Yeah. So what I do, I saw it in my stream, actually, when the New World came out, Copper, not Copperdale, it was the next one. The family. Oh, it's world. like Sun Man something, something, something. Some, uh, yeah, I haven't played it too much yet because my story is not there, but... I saw that my stream had it. So what I do is I go there, I read the description of the world, I go in, I see how the world looks, what does it remind me, right? Yeah. Um, and then I'm like, okay, so this vibe. And then I go in the, the families, I see which family has the most money, which family has the least money, what do they have relationship to each other? I read the lore, and that's how I decide who's the monarch, who's the duke, who's the marquis. That's how I give the titles. Yeah. And... It is based on the lore. And then I see, oh, what does this family say? Oh, they love money, but they don't have that many anymore or whatever, you know? And that's like, okay, so they're the king and they're falling. So what would their wants be? So that's how I created. it. Then I dress them all kind of in the kingdom style. Mm-hmm. And then I start playing with them. And that's how the story comes. So I'm like, okay, what would they do? They hold court. Let's see how everyone gets along in this court, you know? Uh, so that's how I start. Uh, but I don't do, because I had some people, they were really nice about it. They were like, oh, you know, it's actually not Her Majesty. It's whatever the correct English title is. I'm like, oh, thank you. But it's actually not based in the British monarchy, you know. Uh, mm-hmm. It's just my own thing. Like, Yeah. Yeah, like Willow Creek is more Rococo style, but it's like, it's not historical. It's just I like to have a kingdom dressed in that style because I like it, you know. And then I create their customs and their beliefs because I have three quote unquote religions in my game. Okay. That that come from so one is the watcher, which is they believe in a power that takes care of their life. Yeah. The second one is nature, which comes from story progression. So they believe um that there is this mechanism or whatever nature that like leads their lives. It's kind of true because I control the sims, story progression, makes them do weird stuff. And there mm-hmm. are other people that believe in free will, which is the free will system, so they can do whatever they want. So each of my kingdoms has different beliefs. Because I don't I don't like, I want it to be as realistic to me, but I don't want it to have real things in the game. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't want to have re- real religions in my game. Because then it makes, I don't know, It I feel like it stops my creativity because I don't yeah. want to mis- misrepresent anything. So I'm like, better make something that it's yours. So I don't have to be, you know, yeah. like I have some people that are like really religious in my game, right? I have Brain of the Bay is a really religious kingdom and they do horrible things for it. And I'm like, I don't want it to be Christianity, Islam or whatever other religion because I, I don't believe that. Mm-hmm. that that's what that religion shows you know so that's why i make something different yeah and i do take inspiration like i'm like oh this kingdom is more from spain but it's like it's not spain so it's gonna be different. whatever you it's whatever you want it just happens to kind of looks like spain like yeah so, like something i'm <laughs> having fun doing is just like reinventing the wheel 
So like mm-hmm. for an example, so like let's just say Alexa is there's fucking cell phones. Mm-hmm. There's fucking computers just electricity and yeah and the, the world that there there isn't any because that type of invention stopped because magic came in and just stopped mm-hmm. everything because well we don't need it because we have flame from our hands we can just continue to do why would we invent electricity yeah. and there's a, there's a whole scene that i wrote where they're like they're like oh like it could you explain like what it's like to be in the mortal world versus it being like in this world and like well it's very different um, mm-hmm. And they're like, were you a queen there or were you a princess? Mm-hmm. And she's like, no, I was just a normal person, but there are queens. And they're like, oh, like, did you know them? Like, no, I didn't. And they're like, oh, like, like, how did like, they're like, like, how did they get messages around? Like we called people and mm-hmm. they're like, you called like, there's no ravens. Like, no. And like, they're like, people actually hunted birds. Like they're like, they hunted like their most secret. <laughs> it's just like, but it's just like, yeah. it's eye opening. Like, how did you get around? Oh, we had bikes and cars. Well, in this world, it's horses. They're like, yeah. they're like, they're like, what's a, what's a car? Or like, I had to, I wrote a really fun scene up, but like, they're like, well, what's school? Mm-hmm. Like, cause someone's asked, well, what do you, what, like, what did you do while you were there? Oh, I went to school and I was a cheerleader. What the fuck is school? What the fuck's a cheerleader? Like, it's just like, yeah. it's just like a fish <laughs> out of water. It, again, it was just so much fun being like, oh, it's like this. And they're like, then why would you do it if that's what the mortals like this is not like a waste yeah. of time like <laughs> like why do you need to learn about math and science math's not going to solve you here and it's it's kind of like it was just kind of like well like, what wouldn't i yeah. indulge in the culture and it's it's funny that you said religion i left religion completely out i mm-hmm. left it as demons pray to angels angels pray to gods just because like mm-hmm. the hierarchy a demon would never be like oh thank god but an angel would say like mm. i pray yeah to the, i pray to the old and new gods because they would believe in that where demons the highest that they would believe is angels right so yeah it's just kind of like fun shit like that or like I, it I, is i had i wrote a like a, a whole period bit of being like so if alexa comes in and becomes queen she's used to living in a capitalist society where everything is run by money it's confusing to her that this world is not and she'd be like, well, then how the, like, how the, how do you guys get paid? And they're like, we don't. And I'm like, she's like, that's, that's, that's ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. Like, I, and like, how much gold do you guys, and like goes in and sees like, there's a, like, they literally say there's a thousand lifetimes of gold. And they're like, we, we should share this with people. And they're like, no, because then you'll only have 999,000 worth of lifetimes. And like, yeah, but that's still like, um, almost like a million years of gold. Like we can share yeah. this. But to, but to her, for somebody like her going to a tavern and not paying for the ale where if you went to like a restaurant here you pay for service it's a a huge culture shock right it is right so i I always i'm I'm having so much fun being like well who's on the gold pieces what who who invents the gold because there's gold everywhere there's gold out there's the same gold from the bracelets the necklaces to the gold coins and versus like how do they make food do they eat do they have yeah, to eat, yeah. right? It's just like it, fun it's, shit like that. It is. And uh, with immortal sims, I see it different everywhere. Like my vampires don't age, don't die, but they also cannot procreate. If I have an immortal sim, yeah. they cannot have kids. And then in my uh, realm of magic, the kingdom hasn't come out, but they live 700 years instead of a regular life. So they age slower. And it's, yeah. it's really interesting because they can have kids but imagine if they have kids with a a mortal and then their kids are like mixed like how long is the kid gonna live it's it's really interesting the only reason why i put religion yeah is because i like the realism of people doing things because of like you know in in all of the things like yeah how yours seems like i know these things so i'm bringing something here whereas they're doing it different they have motives and these motives i want i want the motives of my sims to be realistic yeah although although the world is not real like the real world i want their motives to be realistic like i have the queen that's like god told me to like smack the queen because she's dressed like so weirdly and i'm like yeah that's stupid but that's how what she believes you know mm-hmm. um any, anyway it's 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 so interesting um the but creation I, of worlds yeah you know and how it makes complete sense in in the mind to create them you know yeah, exactly and how you sold to other people 
outside looking in they're like you're fucking crazy but the creator's like no <laughs> it's like the charlie days meme from uh always sunny and it's like the board it's like red string everywhere and he's like yeah. looking crazy he's like no like this makes sense because they would think of this because of that of this and this and it's just like i i yeah. get it um okay i have to ask who is your favorite character and uh -huh. versus who is your favorite character to write for or to tell their story or is it the same person yeah that's so interesting because i'm like it's difficult i love most of like most of my sims i love them yeah there are a few that i hate like king sucks i kind of hate it but everyone else uh i think that my favorite sim because i thought about it is queen nancy line grab oh. because because when I started playing this story, it was in Sims 3 in Sunset Valley. Mm -hmm. And I made the land grabs, the monarchs, and they had an issue with the altars that just came and the gods wanted the power. It was a whole thing. But they were my first, she was my first queen. Mm -hmm. So she always has a special place in my heart. Um, I, I don't, I don't give her the like favorable treatment. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I write for her as much as I write for the other people, but I love her. Who I love writing for the most, mm -hmm. it keeps changing uh, because it depends on the storyline. But I really did enjoy writing for Sophia Zergson, okay. Princess Sophia Zergson, who is the wife of Crown Prince uh, Malcolm, who's the son of, of Queen Nancy. Be I enjoyed writing for her because her story has developed the most as of now. Mm -hmm. And the things that she goes through, like how she views them and how she's confused and just trying to make it, like they click with me. Mm -hmm. Another person that I'm really excited to write for is Imperial Princess Alex of Evergreen Harbor, who is going to go through some things and like her story is i can't wait to write for it you know yeah yeah i know i know so, exactly what you that's dude that's awesome yeah and a small thing a yeah. villain that i love that yeah. i'm like she's not really a villain but contessa katrina of voices springs again because she's just she's not i just her story is not a lot so i don't want to like spoil everything um, uh, but she just does what's best for her family, like specifically her family, mm -hmm. and everyone else can go and burn, you know. So she does atrocious things, but for the good of her family in her eyes. Yeah. So I it's so I don't know, I like she's a bad person, but I like writing her point of view because in her mind makes total sense i like characters that their mind makes total sense like king's axe is crazy he's yeah. just like not like you know how we say oh crazy like he's a psychopath mm -hmm. uh, like completely so it makes sense in his mind but it's also contessa katrina everyone could be potentially contessa katrina if they thought like her you know oh uh, yeah that's okay. what that's what's like clicks with me so that's I, the villains I like. Where you're like, makes sense though. <laughs> yeah, like I, I think a good villain question you have to they have to have good motives that you, mm -hmm. you love to hate them, you hate to love them, and you yeah. have to understand where they're coming from. And I think yeah. sometimes I think ma makes a good villain is blurring the line between hero and villain. Is yeah. making sure that like in their mind, they're the heroes of their own story. They think yeah. that they are doing whatever they had to do to either make peace with what has happened or what or what the justice they think needs to be served yeah they may be a villain because we are only showing the projected through the hero's eyes but is the hero actually the villain the whole time and mm. the villain's actually been the hero it comes down to it being which side of the fence yeah. are you on are you and, on the and hero or villain side for justification Exactly. And what I, and that's what, one thing that I really enjoy writing with many kingdoms, because, you know, other, there are many people that, and it's easy, it's easier, not it's easy, it's easier to write a good story, I believe, when you have 10, 50 characters, whereas yes. like these are my main characters. It's easier to write a good story. Like my story is more sporadic. But what I love about it is that me, the creator, and maybe the readers, I don't know, 
I can't, I don't know who the good guys are because like they, they fight with each other and I write each person's point of view. Mm-hmm. And from their point, they're both right. And then something horrible happens. It's like Princess Evie Delgado of Brindleton Bay. Mm-hmm. Her story is the, like, it's, it's exactly that. Because is she a hero or a villain? I don't know. And I wrote it. And I'm like, I don't know. Like, it's, <laughs> um, I, uh, you know? So that's what intrigues me and keeps me invested in all the stories where I don't even know. And I'm writing it. I love that. Okay. Speaking of writing, what talk to me about your writing process. Like, how do you write a story? So first something happens in my game, right? Yeah. Uh, so first it has happened. So I'm like, okay. So then I, I have a separate fa- save file where I play and a separate save file where I take pictures. Yes. So the time doesn't pass. So I go to the same fa- save file for the pictures and I recreate the event, but I pose them so that it happens. And then I take a million pictures of it from all the sides. Then I put them on my phone. I choose, like, I make, I'm like, okay, it's, it, I, I have 120 pictures. Which are the good pictures? And say the story that I have in mind, these, okay, so it's 30 pictures, so it's three posts. Mm-hmm. And then I separate them by post. And then I, I, by that time, I have a general idea of what they're saying. So then I edit the colors, and then I go and I write, and I basically write as I go. Mm -hmm. but I do know what's happening and the general idea of what I write. And I heard that, um, that's how I write them. But I heard another, another creator said that, oh yeah, I don't know what I write before I write it. And I love her story. So I'm like, okay, so I guess my story might be also good, although I don't pre-write it, you know, Uh, because I didn't consider myself a writer. I now do a little more because like I am writing the story, but I'm not, you know, so that's how I write. <laughs> okay. So you know how earlier you're like, you're an actress. If you like acted in a movie, you're a yeah. writer as soon as you write a scene. <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm plugging writers. If you write a scene, you're a writer. That's, okay. Yeah, you. you're, you are a writer. <laughs> uh, thank you so much. <laughs> you're very welcome. Um, who, okay. I'm giving you $20 million. I'm giving you a Netflix contract. I'm going to give oh you my one God. season. Who is starring in your first season and what kingdom are you showing? Yeah, I've thought about it because I've thought about writing books and it's book is a different kingdom kind of. I'm making Oasis Springs because that's where the story, most of the story starts. Okay. And it's from the point of Queen Nancy and Princess Sophia. Xerxes, and they're the two main characters. Mm-hmm. And we see the whole escape of Princess Sophia from Windenburg and how she came to OS Springs and how Queen Nancy has to fight for her and what happens. And we see the abduction of Bella Goth at the same time and the formation of the Alliance mm-hmm. and the season ends. Uh, I believe the season ends. Hmm. Yeah, the season would probably end when some turmoil comes to the Alliance, but we see it only from Queen Nancy's point of view uh, point of view yeah so we don't know exactly what has happened we just see her react as the queen to the news so i like okay. that would you make it live action or anime or cartoon mm-hmm. if i made a cartoon it would be with sims you okay. know because i i can't imagine it being a cartoon with other cartoon characters you know yeah, like I would want this to be a Sims movie. Otherwise, it would be with uh, with a regular cast. Okay. But I would love for it to be a Sims movie. You know, I just need I just can't imagine it with different fictional pictures because yeah. they're so real. You know, I got you. I no, I hundred percent got you. See, I land on the opposite side. I would never want it. So, like, people ask me all the time, like Rose Chronicles, like, what would you do? It would be an animated series. It would never be real mm. because how I'd want it to be portrayed. There's no way that CGI is caught up to it for like TV I see. show. I want to be see. able to do those crazy ass jumps, and I want to be mm. able to like fire out of your hand. I don't need a once upon a time moment of just mm-hmm. like fire coming out of emma's hand and listen guys i'm the hugest once once fan okay you I lost me too. after frozen after frozen <laughs> you you had me gone 
By the way, you know the the actor that plays in Once Upon a Time Pinocchio. Yeah, he's an alumni from the school that I went, the acting school I went, and he came and talked to us, oh. and he talked to us about his experience there too. And I was like, ah, oh. "You're crazy!" That's so cute. <laughs> oh yeah. God. Um. But yeah, no, like I would want it animated. Mm. I have exactly knowing from beginning, middle, and end to where I would want it. I think about it all the time. And I always, mm. I always say to my fiance, I'm like, one day I'm going to go on a book tour or going to go to Comic-Con for Rose Chronicles. Would you come with me? And he's like, uh, yeah, of course I'd fucking come with you. You're on a fucking book yeah. tour. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah, I know. But like, I don't know if you like would want to go. I don't know. We need to start having more, um, more, uh, what's it called? Ah awards award shows yes for same storytellers Fuck and yeah. creators we need to we need to all pitch pinch in a little bit of money and make it okay yeah well, guys i think this is that point we're gonna start a gofundme and yes. everybody donate 10 simoleons of whatever 10 <laughs> simoleons is in your world Someone's and, like mother load. Yeah, yeah. We just go in and they're like, I keep putting mother load into the GoFundMe, yeah. and it's not doing anything. <laughs> I mean, we're so many Sims uh, creators and players. One of us has to be a millionaire. Like one of us be. has to. Like statistically, one of us has to have a lot of money. Um, <laughs> right. And if, we'll and build a statue for you. Just. Find us. <laughs> and if that's the case, and you're and you're listening, and you're like a multi-millionaire, and you're like, I want to have a Sims award, uh, call me. Um, yes. Or call any want, of us. Or you want to green light uh, <laughs> Sims Kingdom Story? Call me. <laughs> oh, I seen the shit that's going on that month. Okay. Yeah. It's, like let's 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 not forget that Riverdale is in the seventh yeah. season, and it's garbage fire, and people are still tuning in to watch it. Our stories yeah. are significantly better. I stopped after the second season. I because I, I got mad at something. I'm still <laughs> knee deep in. I I've never oh. missed an episode, and even last oh. night at like one a.m. in the morning, I was watching it. Oh, being like I'm okay. really big into yeah, I'm really big into anime. So I watched when the new uh, Dragon Ball movie came out. Me and my oh, husband yeah. were like shaking we went there and it was like we were like oh. okay was it anyway was it good because i haven't it seen was it. amazing it was i was like can I, I can watch it six times in a row i want six more hours of this it was so funny but good it was oh my god oh it was uh i i, I don't want to spoil it it was amazing. yeah no spoilers anyway. i just i love that because <laughs> I'm so scared of like getting like the Sailor Moon crystal vibe. Okay. Like that, like I haven't seen it. So don't. It's the, yeah, it's okay. so bad. Um, I will say the card captors clear card, that's phenomenal. They did a really good job like taking it on to like the like this. I guess that would have been the fourth, third or fourth season of uh right. card captors when they redid it a couple years ago, but like it's yeah i know i'm a magical girl yeah. uh anime girl obviously shocking by knowing me that i like magical <laughs> shit um but no i saw i you know what i want i want inuasha i want a 2025 inuasha movie i want it like a 25th anniversary shit okay like bring we need to introduce the newer generation to some older ass animes mm. Yeah. If I hear one more time the Hunter X Hunters started anime in I haven't America, watched it. It's good, but it's okay. Two franchises introduced anime to North America, Dragon Ball Z and Sailor Moon because of Cartoon Network. They bought mm-hmm. the rights and they ha- they shared it. It is the only reason anime is popular here. Let's not forget that Serena, I guess Asagi like mm. literally carried that shit on her back and so did mm. dragon ball z i wasn't allowed to watch dragon ball z when i was a kid because it was too violent yeah. yeah i found dragon ball z so what i my the first anime i watched yeah violent i was death note that's the first one i watched and i oh was my God. in tr- like my brain was like everywhere because i'm like this is such a good story because it's like it's exactly what we said about villains and everything yeah. And then after after that, I was at the university with some of my friends who watched the next episode without me. So then they were out of the thing. I was watching it by myself. 
horrible. Anyway, and then I watched, which is not an anime, but I watched Avatar, The Last Airbender, you know, oh it's like... Oh my god, that is phenomenal. Yeah, yeah. So I watched yeah. that, and then when COVID first started starting, like before it started, me and my yeah. husband had started dating, and yeah. then he had the whole package of Avatar, The Last Airbender, like, want to watch it? And he's like, yes. yes. Oh my god. And then we, we kept watching it every day. And then that brought us closer. And then we started watching. He's like, do you want to watch Naruto? And he told yeah. me now, after all these years, he's like, I was kidding. Because like everyone before was like, no, I don't want to watch. And I, I was like, yeah. And he's like, really? I'm like, yeah. yeah. And then it was an episode. And he kept looking at me. And I'm like, yeah, it's amazing. This was another one. He was like, <gasps> and that's the reason why we <laughs> became a couple kind of like i i joke but i'm like yeah yeah he was like oh you like naruto and you like korean food interesting <laughs> so then we watched this whole thing and then we watched dragon ball so that's how i was okay introduced. but i love this i love and i've watched other things as well but they're all more recent because okay yeah. No, I a hundred percent got you. I'm like oh, shit. I have, I, I haven't someone heard someone say Nero, like uh, near auto. I think I just like yeah. it in like a hundred years. I had uh, in acting school. We had an exercise where we had to match someone's voice. Yeah, and I did Hinata. <laughs> um. So I need a sample of that right now. I hope you, know you were yeah. setting yourself up. For I was that. like, it's not that good now, but I was like. Do you guys? And I was like <laughs> matching her voice, in <laughs> and I saw it to my teacher, and she had no idea what that is. But I'm like, it's good, though, right? Before and after, huh? <laughs> That's fucking yeah. amazing. Yeah, like uh, holy shit! <laughs> oh my <Yeah>. god! <laughs> oh fun. my god! Well. I have one final question for you, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna wrap up this interview. Yeah. Um, what advice could you give to anybody wanting to start off their own Royal Kingdom series? Yes, I I had this question before, and I thought about it, and I feel like it's started. You know, just started because one of the big fears that i had at the start is like it's not gonna be good like it was horrible but as you said keep up the first post you know yeah. uh yeah that was your advice i remember and just start it and do the best you can and what you want and even if it's quote unquote not good because we're the worst judges of ourselves you know yes. If you see it's not good, it's okay. Just keep telling the story that makes you happy and how you want it. There is no right or wrong way. You can just post a picture and write the description underneath. It doesn't matter. You'll find the community. You'll get better. You'll you'll find your style. You don't have to be at the level to start, you know, because you'll never be ready. There is never the right moment. Like, just do what feels good and the best you can and you'll be fine. And I, message me i'll give you whatever you want <laughs> i think that's such amazing advice. yeah just just do it i remember my yeah. first ever rose Chronicles chapter i everything was green screen <laughs> and i like found photos online and put my sims like over top of the photo because i didn't know like what the fuck i was doing i did because i was like i want a castle and i can't make castles i can't make a lake castle in, like five minutes so like yeah. sweet photo online that says free can the fact so. that you did the fact that you did green screen is so much more difficult to me i'm like that was your okay interesting yeah uh, interesting. I, liter- <laughs> I literally and there was no i didn't have poses i didn't have poses till after like 20 chapters in so i do. was i was like hmm. so i was mm-hmm. like everyone was like walking like everybody had like everyone was just like always moving yeah yeah <laughs> and i remember like the first time i got poses i was like i'm only gonna use these like once in a while and now yeah. I'm, like i have poses for like head turn talking conversation yeah for both sides it's <laughs> it's an un- un- unhealthy addiction but same same Sim- Sims Kingdom, <laughs> i want to thank you again so much for coming here today i'm so happy yeah. we finally got to do a summer song yeah Yay! it's so much fun <laughs> um I want to, uh, for everybody, this is their first podcast listening to you. Where can we find your amazing work? Well, I go by Sims Kingdoms almost everywhere. So Instagram is my main. And then we have Twitch, 
YouTube and TikTok. Let's not forget. And by the time we watch this, I probably will have also a website because I found uh, the guy that made my actor's website. He was like, I'm like, should I put anything about Sims there? He's like, you play Sims? I love Sims. I read stories. I'll make you one for Sims for free. So, oh, <laughs> so that, I'll have a website too. <laughs> that's cute. Okay. One question, because I meant to ask you is, what's it like streaming on Twitch? Like, how is Are you enjoying it? Are you having fun? It's, it's a lot of fun because I do put these hours into Sims either way. So having someone there to keep me company is amazing. That's why I started because my poor husband, I just kept telling him, look at this. And now I can tell you guys, look at this. But I have to say it was easier for me to start on Twitch because I had, I quote unquote, brought a following from Instagram, you know? Yeah. So my friends from Instagram came and watched me and they still watch me and we like talk. Whereas if you just start on Twitch, you know, it's going to be more difficult as if you start anywhere, you know? Oh, absolutely. Um, Please ignore my ignorance when I say this. Are you an no. affiliate on Twitch yet? Yes, I am. I became like the first month. That's why I'm like, Sims Royal Community, we're close, you know? <laughs> <laughs> they all came through. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, I but do. don't imagine it makes money. Like, you don't, don't do it for the money. If you're doing it for the money on tweets and say i don't know other yeah. people make money i don't know <laughs> <laughs> yeah just guys don't do it for the money you'll be waiting yeah. a long time for your opportunity yeah. or you gotta keep at it every day non-stop yeah but uh <laughs> sims kingdom absolute pleasure please go check out uh, the links below i'm again so happy we were able to do this you're such an amazing part of the community and again thank you so much yeah. uh for being my co-host on the royalties roundtable <laughs> Go listen to that. Um, yeah. And go listen to the LGBTQ plus mm -hmm. uh, roundtable that we did. Go listen to the hundredth episode. Um, go listen to uh, the royal one. Did I say royals? LGBTQ hundredth episode. There's were one you, more. Were you on Instagram? Yes. Go <laughs> listen to the Simstagram. <laughs> that was my yeah. first one. <laughs> yeah, go listen to the Simstagram podcast um, and listen to this one. Actually, what I want everyone to do is open up your devices. I'm fucking everywhere at this point. Just play on every device. I want your entire house playing this one interview at one time. <laughs> oh, different interview, so it's confusing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just like every single episode that Sims Kingdom's in, go watch those right now. We'll wait <laughs> until you get until you watch them all to come back to finish this one. <laughs> Sims Kingdom, absolute pleasure. Please go check out the Things Kingdom links to me below. Um, I'm so happy that we've become friends uh, mm -hmm. in the last year. I'm you're such an amazing <laughs> part of the Sims community, and it would not be the same without you. But uh, have too. a great rest of your day, and we'll chat soon. Bye. Bye.